right, here we are. Honduras trip 2016. This is really an awesome trip for me. And, uh, and this is an exciting adventure because David is coming with me on a trip. We are going down to Honduras. We're going to do some good things uh, and work in uh, some ministries down there to help some families. And I think this is going to be a great opportunity for him to see things that he's not seen before that I've seen in a lot of countries. But, uh, you know, because I don't, I don't think he really understands what true poverty is. And so this is going to be a really eye-opening experience for him. And so it's fantastic. Plus, I get to travel with my son and I travel all the time but this is such a great opportunity for me to do something fun with him one-on-one -on -one time and uh, I he he wants to do what I do and, and this is an opportunity for him to show him for me to show him what what's going on and so uh, you know here we are uh, taking off from uh, Atlanta we went from Memphis early to Atlanta and then Atlanta down to uh, uh, San Pedro Sula then, once we got to San Pedro Sula, it was then another three-hour bus ride from San Pedro Sula to um, El Ayudante, which is in Comaniagua, Honduras. So, uh, we are here now. This video was shot uh, May 28th, but I'm just now getting around to uh, talking about it. So here we are, we've come through customs. We were waiting for the rest of our group to come through. The bus came and loaded all of our luggage on top, which is, uh, hey, it's the Honduran way. We were excited because the bus did have some air conditioning. And air conditioning is a luxury in Honduras and you don't normally see it at all. So we were very excited about that. But on the way, we stopped off for some lunch at Mr. Taco. You heard me right, Mr. Taco, uh, and it was fantastic. It really was a great time. Um, it was right, those authentic tacos with the corn tortillas and the, the meats and the cilantro and the onions. Uh, who does not love that? And, of course, there's David drinking a uh, real Coke uh, made the right way, something we don't see much anymore. We did make a stop about halfway through at a fruit stand to uh, go to the restroom. And uh, those are always awesome because these ladies, uh, I think they take their life in their own hands with these knives, but they can do things with a knife that uh, normal people can't do. I would probably slice my hand off. But if you've never tasted uh, fresh pineapple, you are missing out because it is delicious. We uh, tried some of that. Of course, I had to have a uh, coconut, which was uh, always fun to, to drink the coconut. I'd actually given David the camera, and he uh, was uh, loving taking these videos of, uh, of this lady cutting up this pineapple. Runs a little long for my taste, but uh, hey, that's okay. I'm on uh, vacation, right? Doing the good life. So they sold all sorts of fruits, um, you know, from pineapple to uh, uh, oranges. There's my coconut. It's, uh, man, if you haven't had that, you've not had good stuff. Bananas, plantains, all fantastic. And uh, other things as well. So good times. Then here we made it to uh, the place we were staying. It was uh, sort of a compound area with... Uh, a fence and some guards to keep us safe but uh, they did have a hammock which uh, of course uh, David loved and uh, then the next morning Saturday Sunday morning had a little short devotion and breakfast oh man look at that isn't that fantastic uh, such a great breakfast and then we went to a, a local church uh, over in uh, Comaniagua where um, uh, it's uh, a pretty, the, probably the most upscale church in town. They did a really good job there. Then uh, afterwards, we ate lunch at uh, a great little place in the square that served pupusa. If you've not had pupusa, you are missing out on the good things in life. Of course, while I was in the square, I had to buy David a boar's tooth necklace, right? What boy doesn't need a boar's tooth necklace? All right, well, that's all for now. This is long enough, but uh, thanks for watching.